Hi guys, this is Tim with Event Office and Inflatable Office again, and I'm going to show you today um, a few more things here. Today is day 50 of our daily tips that we started doing since the coronavirus um, started to, to really affect our industry. And uh, we're going to actually pull back a little bit on these tips. We've given you 50 different tips, 50 different videos over the last uh, 50 working days. and um, we're going to probably drop back to more of a once a week or a couple times a week sort of thing uh, and, and still keep these coming out because we, we do find that you guys are enjoying them and there's a lot of value to them. Um, but we need to pull back a little bit as we, we start to get busier as well since the event bans are starting to lift. And so um, we're going to pull back on some of these instructional videos. Plus, we've covered a lot of topics, um, but we're going to continue to, to do different video series. Uh, throughout the year uh, to give you the information that you need to know to use uh, our products as, as good as you possibly can and to uh, make your business as uh, good as it possibly could be. So um, the last one here will be a little shorter. We're going to talk about a couple little things and we've been trying to stay in that worker zone lately and I've been doing a lot on the worker site um, because I don't think a lot of people know a lot about that. Um, and I think that uh, the workers module is probably one of the more underutilized modules um, because it does so much for you uh, and it enhances a lot of the different parts of inflatable office um, as far as multi logins and permissions and all sorts of other things. Um, and so uh, it's a, it's a very good module to, to subscribe to if you haven't yet. Um, and it takes a lot of pressure off uh, that, management of your workers, which is a really big issue for uh, most companies. So last few things we want to look at here are one, Google Calendar. Now, if you're familiar with our Google Calendar integration on uh, the admin side, uh, this is very similar to uh, that. Um, now, there's a couple differences uh, that I want to point out. So this is for the employee, for the worker. So they can have it set up to put their shift information directly into their Google Calendar and see it on their phone. Now, I would caution you uh, that this is, um, it's a good convenience to have, but there, you know, things can arise where they maybe somehow get logged out of Google on their phone or they have an issue set up, they have a setup issue with their calendar or they turn the calendar off or they change their alerts on their calendar or whatever. And um, if those things should occur, they wouldn't necessarily know when they were supposed to work and so forth. So it's always best that they check the worker site because it's always gonna be the most accurate and most up to date. And we can't unfortunately prevent them from doing uh, any of those other things or mistakes that they might make. So um, while it's a great convenience, you know, again, it's important that they still use the worker site quite a bit. Now, uh, it's very simple. All they're gonna do is click grant permission uh, on, right here, and it's gonna bring up a Google sign-in uh, where they can then sign in and it'll bring them back to this page and it'll show them all their Google calendars. I suggest to them um, to always create another Google calendar before they do this, specifically for their work shifts. That way, if for some reason they decide um, they want those removed from their calendar, it's as easy as deleting that calendar from their Google account, and that will remove them. Um, they can also toggle it on and off if they're viewing their calendar. Um, so that, that is usually the best situation. Now, they don't get the flexibility that you get in the admin calendar. They can't set up how and what data they want to come across. Uh, that data is defined by you, so you can set up in your admin account. And that is under the uh, pages and templates, I believe, where you can set up what data you want them to see, what links you want to provide to them in their Google Calendar. Um, and also, um, we, uh, we, we, uh, we also define the, the start and end times and some of those other information, like the location, like they're supposed to show up to and stuff like that. So that's all done for you and they don't get to change that and you don't have to worry about some of that. So 
Uh, anyway, so that's the Google Calendar thing, and I, I don't get a lot of people using that, so I just wanted to bring that up. Uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you here is the safety certification. We've talked a little bit about this in the past. Um, there is a way for them to get to it from the worker site. So if you set up an employee and you sign into a position where they might be dealing with bouncers and rock walls, um, we have a way for you to define on those items that those positions and items are linked so that if, if that worker has that position and uh, then they, they need to take those proper tests uh, for those items and should they not take and complete and pass those tests, then they will not get a chance to sign up for those shifts. Those will be unavailable to them until they do that. So. Uh, and and, and these, this information in here is just a, a com combination of information that we've learned over the years. Um, it, is, uh, it is provided as a convenience to you. Uh, if any of that information is stuff that conflicts with uh, things that you want to uh, impart to your employee or uh, your insurance or state laws, um, then obviously you need to deal with that accordingly. Um, and we are happy to make changes where needed uh, should should a, a new standard come up and you're, you're made aware of it we'll be happy to make those changes for you guys these are not things that you can edit on your own um, but i want to take you back to um, the training area which we don't know we do have some training set up here for this guy um, you can see also that there are some some training ab abilities for you to make custom training things so um, you can always customize that content to your liking. So uh, anyway, guys, um, thanks for coming with us for these last 50 days and joining us on this uh, tips and tricks and more in-depth look at your software that uh, you're using for your event rentals. Uh, and, and if you have uh, more questions on more topics or even maybe if you want us to do some examples or go through some more topics in more detail, uh, let us know and we'll be happy to do that. Like I said, we're going to be continuing to do some more video series over time and we'll probably still be releasing uh, at least a video a week of different tips, uh, but we probably won't be doing uh, every day of the week uh, now that we hit 50. It's a, it's a good milestone and a good time to stop. So, all right, guys, we'll talk to you later.